The mystery hidden in God for all eternity is made known to the world in the birth of our blessed Lord. It is a mystery of light, a revelation, an illumination. Like all politicians, Herod is anxious to control events and he has already devised his strategy. On another hand, another, but another hand is guiding these events. Another mind is revealed in how they are going to unfold. A different power is at work here for a purpose beyond anything that Herod could imagine. God's plan. For it is in the hand and mind and power of God that are being revealed. Their coming, the wise men coming, means that the pagans can discover Jesus and worship him, the Son of God and Savior of the world. In Herod, the response is hostile, is ruthless evil, which he espoused. But in a worldly sense, when we look at Herod, he's a very brilliant man, a gifted politician. He stands in power against all the odds for decades. Yet his own sons executed in the name of his power, three of them, for plotting against him. He executed his wife, whom he loved. Herod was not somebody to be tried with. The minute Herod hears the child being born who is destined to be king, he moves straight away in search. Here we see hostility but also we see curiosity. Better than wise men, you have worship. Where are we in the world today with preaching Christ? There is hostility, of course, but if we're not careful, we'll end up seeing only hurt, and we'll sit together in our bunkers or living castles and say, well, it's all over. It's too hostile. <clears throat> We must protect ourselves. We must protect ourselves from the surrounding enemies. So we just tighten in, hold up, lay out, plenty upon plenty, and we'll say it's okay. But this is not what the call of our blessed Lord is. This does not work. Our faith, evangelization, the mission of the church is still all to play for. Even though sometimes it doesn't look like it. But it starts with ourselves. The start of a year, every company, stores, and organizations set out their objectives for the year. To sell as much as possible, increase sales, improve demographics, whatever may be the objectives. But our objective as we start off in this year is sanctity. Companies don't just say that they want to increase sales and leave it at that. And the same is true for us. There's not much point saying, I want to be holier this year, I want to do more this year. We must have a specific plan. No good saying that I will pray more and leave it at that. We need precise objectives, precise means as well. Today as we make a new profession of faith in the Christ child, let us offer a true gift of our worship. We too surrender to lay down ourselves on what gifts that we have to offer. Let us pray for the grace to worship like the Magi, who first sought the Lord, prostrated before him, offered that worship before offering the gifts that they had for him. May be the may they be the models for us in the saints that we are called to be. May we first receive work, prostrate to fall down before the Lord, to receive that grace, and then to offer the gifts to him through our very selves to the world. The sanctity not only of ourselves. That of the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost.
Oh, 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 oh,